The Getting Started with Workforce Timekeeper course introduces you to the Workforce Timekeeper interface, shows you how to log in, manage your password, and navigate the application. This course provides interactive participation exercises, guide me's, to allow you to practice new skills. The Workforce Timekeeper application automates your timekeeping and scheduling responsibilities to help you streamline your payroll processing tasks. You use the application to review worked and non-worked hours and perform any necessary adjustments. It is important that your employees are compensated accurately. To make this happen, you need to manage employees' worked and non-worked hours as well as attendance issues in an efficient and timely manner. The application supports your ability to perform these tasks so that the data sent to payroll is accurate. After completing this lesson, you should be able to identify the tasks in the Workforce Timekeeper process and when they occur, and recognize the daily and pay period tasks of managers who use Workforce Timekeeper. The application automates the payroll process, ensuring that the payroll is processed accurately and on time. This graphic shows the tasks in the payroll process. You perform some of these tasks, the application performs others. Each employee has responsibilities that are important in the payroll process. Your role determines your responsibilities and the tasks that you can perform in the application. Workforce Timekeeper presents multiple views that let you quickly display and act on employee time and attendance data. But first, you need to learn how to log on to Workforce Timekeeper and how to navigate around the application. After completing this lesson, you should be able to log on to the Workforce Timekeeper application, sign out of the Workforce Timekeeper application, navigate the different areas of a Workforce Timekeeper page, change or reset your password, and use online help. The Workforce Central logon page is your starting point for accessing the Workforce Timekeeper application. You typically access the logon page by double-clicking an icon on your desktop or by using a web browser to access a URL provided to you by your organization. Each person who has access to Workforce Timekeeper is assigned a unique username and password. You enter this information on the Workforce Central logon page to access Workforce Timekeeper. When you finish using the application, end your session by clicking the sign-out link 
in the upper left-hand corner and to the right of the Kronos logo. Signing out closes your session and signals to the application that you no longer require access to any of its components. Signing out also prevents other people from accessing the application's information. The department, the department manager for Olson Tire periodically logs on to Workforce Timekeeper to review all employee time data. As the department manager, log on to the Workforce Timekeeper application. From the desktop, double-click the Navigator Framework WFC icon. Your username and password will be supplied to you by your organization. Both are case-sensitive and must be entered exactly as required. Log on as the department manager. In the Username field, enter the username and then press Tab. In the Password field, enter the password and then press Enter. After logging on, you will be taken to your default view. The exact view you see will depend on how your organization has set up your navigator. For this scenario, the default view shows the Reconciled Time Card widget. When you're finished working, you can log off by clicking Sign Out. You should always sign out before closing your browser or browsing to a different website. Click Sign Out now. You are brought to the Workforce Central logon screen. That completes this exercise. When you're ready to exit, close your browser window by clicking X in the upper right corner. Immediately after you log on, the application displays a page called a navigator. A navigator is a predefined view that organizes time and labor information that is important to completing your daily work tasks. The navigator may contain alerts and widgets. The widget in the center of the navigator is the active widget. A wizard is a widget that guides users through a series of steps to complete a single business operation. Each step in the process links to a specific page in Workforce Timekeeper. The wizard shown here is the Time Card Approval Wizard, which consists of four steps. A wizard is completely configurable to suit the business process. Your organization can configure wizards to assist users with completing different types of time and labor tasks. 
The Navigator is configured to give you immediate access to the data you need to complete your most common daily time and labor tasks. To perform more complex tasks, such as reconciling time cards or closing a pay period, you can use a Quick Links widget or a Single Link widget to access the Workforce Central pages. If your organization has configured a Quick Links widget, it may look something like the one shown here. This widget is customizable based on the tasks that you most frequently perform. Workforce Timekeeper pages contain three main areas, Search Tools, the Action Bar, and the Workspace. When Workforce Timekeeper is configured to allow automatic password reset, you can change your password without contacting your system manager. If you forget your password, you can access the Forgot Your Password link from the Workforce Central logon page. You can then answer one or more security questions. Finally, after successfully providing answers to the security questions, you are allowed to create a new password. You forgot your password and want to reset it without having to contact a system administrator. From the Workforce Central logon page, enter your username in the Username field, then press Tab. Click the Forgot Your Password link. Each organization can configure the questions they want to include in this feature, as well as the number of questions that employees will need to answer. This scenario incorporates one security question. In the Security Question dialog box, enter the correct answer in the Answer field. Then click Submit. In the New Password field, enter the password you want to create, then press Tab. In the Verify Password field, re-enter the new password, then click Reset Password Now. A message appears that confirms you have successfully changed your password. You are then automatically logged on to the application and brought to your default logon page. That completes this exercise. When you're ready to exit, close your browser window by clicking X in the You can change your password as often as you like by clicking the Change Password link. For security purposes, your organization might specify how often you need to change your password. For example, your organization might have a policy that requires you to change your password every 90 days. You have been, you have been notified that you need to change your Workforce Central password.
In your navigator, click the Workspaces tab. Click the My Information Workspace. The My Information Workspace contains items that refer to you as an employee. Expand the Related Items pane. Click the Change Password widget. In the Old Password field, enter your old password and then press Tab. In the New Password field, enter your new password and then press Tab. In the Verify Password field, re-enter your new password and then click Change Password Now. The Security Question Setup screen appears. Here, you will be asked to supply answers to the security questions that will be used, if needed, to reset a forgotten password. From in the Answers field, enter the answer and then click Save and Continue. A message appears that confirms you successfully set your security question and answer. You are returned to your default logon page. That completes this exercise. The inactivity timeout is designed to protect sensitive information in the application. Click Yes to continue working in the system or click No to log off. If you log off, any changes that were not saved before the session timed out will be lost. To access Workforce Central Online Help from the Navigator, activate the Online Help widget which is available in the Get Support workspace. You need to refresh your memory on the information that appears on various time card tabs. You want to access the online help topic that is available from Workforce Timekeeper. To access the Get Support Workspace, click the Workspaces tab. Click the right-facing arrow and then click Get Support. Two widgets appear in the workspace, one for Knowledge Pass and one for Online Help. Maximize the Help widget. On the Contents tab, access Timekeeping Help, the Time Card, Time Card Tabs. View the contents of the page. When finished, click the Search tab. In the Search field, enter the required search string and then click Go. Select the relevant topic. 
notice the same page appears. When finished reviewing the page, close the temporary workspace. You have reviewed an online help topic. That completes this exercise. Congratulations! You have completed this course. You are on your way to applying what you've learned to your work.